Okay, so this is my video of the uh, Polaris 500. Um, it's actually going to be about the four-wheel drive system. And this thing is really torn apart right now, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm going to hook up a little bit of electricity so we can actually engage the coils for the four wheel drive and I'm not a mechanic but I mess around and um, this this is the best that I can deduce from messing with this thing of how this four wheel drive system works it might actually help you guys be able to uh, figure out what's going on wrong with yours alright so I won't go through all the schematics and everything of how the uh, how the bearings and how the, the spindle rides on the bearings and all that good stuff. But um, what is essential is this here. Is the, it's called the Hillard Clutch. H-I-L-L-A-R-D. Hillard Clutch. And how it works is this is... Um, part of your spindle here uh, I, I guess you would say um, the, the frame part and on to it it has a coil that is attach attaches are these wires that run up through here and you see it comes out here it goes through there connects here and it goes back through there follows up along this hose here all the way up here and it connects uh, these small wires here, the real small wires, that one and then this one over here. So you can see I've got my voltmeter and I actually do get uh, 12 volt positive down there. It's actually 11.3 but um, obviously the higher the better. But what happens is on this Hillert clutch you've got these tabs here these tabs, these tabs fit. I'm gonna try to do this all with just my hands here. These tabs, you can see there's holes on the hillock clutch. These tabs fit right in there. And so when the tabs are in there, in those holes, it actually moves the moves the clutch. Um, so now what's happening is you have this plate, I think they call it the armature plate, and it goes right against there when everything is together. You know, the uh, the axle or the axis comes through here, and then this goes around here, and that sits on there like that. There's a little bit of current there, so it's holding, it's holding on, but I mean, I can easily, you know, just take something and slide it off anyhow um, pretty much the way this thing works that I can tell is this armature plate here against this surface here is a braking system okay so when you have the whole setup the clutch and the plate when you have the whole setup it'll allow it to slide against this surface right here and now these grooves in this clutch go right on there and so when the when the sprocket turns this axle here this transaxle I guess you would call it and then it spins this Hillert clutch it's all just going to spin and so there's there's these rollers here stay right where they are because the whole thing spins Okay, but now when you have this plate here, and I'm going to switch on my four-wheel drive. Okay, now you take this same armature plate and see how it, it sticks now? Now, now, it's, now it's hard on there. You know, now I can't push it down. It's, it's stuck on there. So it's pretty much like a braking system. And what that does is when this thing is on here, now this thing... Now this hillock clutch doesn't want to spin. And so when this hillock clutch 
this outer part of the clutch doesn't spin, what's happening is this transaxle is going to make it spin because it's coming off the sprocket. So this transaxle is going to spin. It has the power of the engine. So this transaxle is going to spin. And now when it actually spins, and then the this outer part does not spin, imagine this. Imagine one of them is spinning, one of them isn't. Think of it that way. Okay, and now, so right now, this uh, transaxle isn't moving, so it's sitting still. So now I'm going to spin the outer plate. When I spin the outer plate, those rollers, see how they pop out? They're popping out. Okay, and when they pop out, what that's actually going to do is... Where is my hub at? Okay, here's my hub. Now when this thing sits over in here, it sits almost perfectly in there. But now when those rollers come out, it's going to push against the inside of the hub and that's actually going to make the hub spin okay so this this plate here actually acts as a braking system and what a lot of guys on the forums were saying is that when they um, they'll find that some of these tabs are broken off and if these tabs are broken off it's going to allow this this clutch to spin all the time so you're not going to have that uh, four-wheel drive action you're only going to um, it's just going to act um, as if it has no uh, no actual power to it. So, uh, hope that helps some some folks. But uh, I was I was real tickled when I figured it out. So this thing is, um, if, if you don't have a um, good strong seal here, then you might want to check your wires going up to um, going to where it feeds from the um, from the switch. And I've also heard that the ground here, because it has to be grounded, um, the ground may not be a, a good ground. But actually, in actuality though, the coil actually has the two wires. It's got a positive and a negative, so I wouldn't understand why it would need to be grounded here as well. Um, that might be something you guys play with. You might be able to let me know. As for me, I'm going to put this thing back together. Thanks, guys.